You're going to love this. Oh, yes. It's the circle game. I know about circles. Round and round and round. Round and round and round and round and round and round. I'm back. Oh, good. Yeah, that was a really good big circle. I know. But this game is about that small red circle. Oh, right. You've got to bounce, then slide just the right amount and end up inside the red circle. Sounds good to me. Like this. Oh, bad luck. You have a go now. Oh, right you are. Give it some go, Four. Let's go. Oh dear, not very near at all. Watch this, watch this. Here goes. Strong there, three. Never mind. You show us again, five. Okay. Heading for the red circle. Go! Come on! You can do it! Go, five! Yes! Right in the middle of the red circle. Well done! Oh, an agent calling in. Let's go! here. Go ahead. Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's some children on the beach. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Oh, I love frisbees. That looks fine. But look at it now. It's stuck in his hand. Not much fun like that. And this girl's got a problem too. Looks nice food. But look at the plate. The plate's out of control. Oh no! Definitely problems there, Agent 28. We're on our way. Thank you. Who's going out there? I don't know why, but I think this one is for me. Yes, I'm going out. Get ready for launching. <laughs> Number six. Good luck, six. Good luck. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. Hang on. Oh, I'll ring the bell. Me, me, me. All right. Wait a minute. All clear. Let's go. Looking for a six. That's the one. Okay, where are those children? Looks good, that beach. That boy is still having trouble with his frisbee. Ah, he's not throwing the frisbee. The frisbee's throwing him. 
dear, oh dear. The girl, is she still in trouble? Yes, she is in trouble. What is it about these things going wrong? Let's have a look. The frisbee and the plate. There's got to be a link between them. Agent's ringing in. It's the shape. Look at the shape. Yes, of course. They're both circles. Circle, circle! Looks like we're having trouble with circles today. I got more trouble to report. Tell us quick. Is the cleaner having a lot of trouble with his bucket? What's the matter with that bucket? Is it the same shape as the other things that went wrong? Soccer. Bad. Ah! That was the shape, Japer. A circle inside the bucket. And she's made that circle go bad. Look. He can't stop it. Oh, no. Yeah! What do we know about the shape, Japer? Getting the data on screen. Looks like the shape, Japer's back. Shape, Shaper, she's really very strange. Shape, Shaper, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs. Changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the Japer's game. The Shape Japer's back. We've got to stop that Shape Japer. Problems with circles. It's the gardener. His flower pot has gone potty. Circle go bad. The shape taper again. Making another circle go bad. It's just like the bucket. Out of control. Oh no. These circles are going completely crazy. More trouble with the cleaner. Got to try to spot that shape, Japer. At least there aren't any circles to worry about with that vacuum cleaner. I'm not so sure. Look at it closely. Circle, small and bad. Oh no! This is really bad. Bad circles. More trouble with the gardener. I can't be in two places at once. Oh no, the gardener's got a hose too. Any dangerous circles here? Circle, tiny, bad. with circles we've got to do something or else anything could happen wheels might come flying off cars and trucks pizzas might go mad or the shape japer might spoil a trampoline and make it too bouncy That shape japer has got to be stopped. There's more trouble down on the beach. Oh, get back there! The girl should be hitting the ball around in a circle. Instead, there's a hole in a bat. Bad! And the shape japer has made a circular hole in the bucket. And another hole in the cup. Look, Shape Japer, you've got to stop making circles go bad. <laughs> We're not going to get much sense out of her. What can we do to stop her? We've got to wear that Shape Japer out. Give her some 
circles to worry about, she won't be able to handle it. Yeah, we've got to make circles. So many circles, the shape draper goes potty. Get the brain game going. Circle making brain game. Powering up the brain game machine. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Make circles! Make circles! Make circles! Make circles! Make circles! Sending brain game now! Yes! And more circles! That'll give the Shake Japer plenty to think about. Ha <laughs> ha! She's got lots of circles to worry about. Give her more. More circles! <laughs> Bad! We've got too many circles for the Shape Japer to handle. Now some bigger ones. The cleanup. More circles! Bigger ones! Yes! Now the gardener! More circles! <coughs> the shape japer can't handle it! <coughs> yeah! That's the last we'll see of her for a bit. And everything back to normal. Come back now, Six. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, Six. Did the trick. And we've got it all on screen. There was trouble on the beach. The frisbee was stuck. And the plate was silly. The cleaner had problems too. And so did the gardener. All that shape japer's fault. Making circles go bad. Oh dear, oh dear. Lucky we gave that shape japer too many circles to handle. We did it. You did it, Six. We all did it. But you're the one who went out there. You said it ought to be you. Yes. Why should Six be good at dealing with circles? Oh, because you've got a circle. Oh, yes. And a very good circle it is, too. Have people got circles? Have you got a circle on you? Look in the mirror. Look very closely in the mirror. Find those circles and call the number jack. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, two extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. Blocks are big. Yes, and I think I'm going to be good at jumping up them today. Show us then. I can jump all the way up to my number. One, two, three, four. Pretty impressive, I think you'll agree. Four, three, two, one, zero. All the way to my own number and back. I can do that. One, two, Three, and I can go on to four. Huh? One more than my number. 
Well, of course I could go to one more than my number. Oh, could you? Yes, I could easily go to five. But we haven't got a tower of five buddy blocks. Well, we could have. Oh, could we? You watch. Buddy block one, please go and add yourself to four to make five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can go to one more than your number. Yes, good. Here goes. I'm on two. On three. You can do it! Five! Yes! Yes! Well done! Come on! We've got an agent calling in. Agent 16 here. What's the problem? Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's down on the beach. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. She was going into the sea with her flippers on. Nothing wrong with that. But look at her now. That's not where flippers go. And there was a boy playing football. Perfectly fine. Now look. That's not allowed. Use your feet, not your hands. Definitely got problems here. So are you sending someone? Sure are. Thanks. Who's going? Who's going? Tell you what, this one's for me. Hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five. Check in the room. All clear. Let's go. Going to find a five. Found a five. Whew. Made it. Can you see the boy and girl? Yes. What's happening with them? Agent 42 here. They've got things switched round. They're using their hands instead of their feet. OK, we need to know more. More! There are more problems, I'm afraid. We can handle it. More problems with hands being where feet should be. That's not where you wear shoes. It's going to be hard to do the gardening with those on his hands. That's funny. Hands and feet getting completely mixed up. Come in. We really need to know what's going on here. Hand swap for feet? What's that all about? We need to see a close-up of a hand. Close-up of a hand. And a close-up of a foot. Close-up of a foot. Is there anything the same about a hand and a foot? Anything? Count the digits. Count the fingers and the thumb. One, two, three, four fingers and one thumb is five digits. Count the toes. One, two, three, four, five toes. That's why hands and feet have been swapped over. They've both got five things. And if hands and feet keep getting swapped over, anything could happen. Yay! <laughs> Instead of a paddle dipping your toes in the water, Ooh. you'd have to paddle with your hands. And instead of scooting with your foot, you'd have to scoot with your hand. 
and skipping would be really hard for everybody. We've got to sort this problem out. But who's causing all these problems? Who can it be? You'd better believe it. It's me. I know that voice. I know that face. Yes, my face. Isn't it lovely? Handsome and yes, oh so bubbly. Putting data on the puzzler on screen. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twisty mind. His bubbles mean trouble. If you get trapped inside, you better stop thinking if the puzzler has caught you. Because if you can sort the puzzle out, the puzzler will sort you. You've got to stop messing these people up, Puzzler. Who's going to stop me, little you? That's not something you can do. Let's liven up these people's lives. Have fun with things that come in fives. My little tricks have just begun. It's time for me to have more fun, yeah. I'll get after him. Anything that comes in fives could be in trouble. More trouble for the poor lady. She's got five nails to paint. Oh no! <laughs> Puzzler, stop messing up fives. To stop things now would be so sad. I love to make five things go bad. Making five is what I can do. Oh no you can't. I'm bubbling you. Help! Oh no! Oh, ah! You all need help. That's very true. And here's that chance I'm giving you. Find two numbers that add to five. Then I will let five out alive. Come on, think! Two numbers that add to five. Come on, we've got to sort this. There's five nails all together. One, two, three, four, five. And four of them are red and one is blue. Four and one make five. We've done it. We know how to make five with two numbers. Four and one. Got to send the brain game to rescue five. Hang on. It should be me. What? Me and one. Four and one make five. I'll go and get number one. Quick! How's it going, number jacks? Have you got the problem cracked? Yes, we have. Come on, one. Brain gain, brain gain, to sort the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain gain. Two numbers that make five, four. One. Make five. Four and one make five. Four and one make five. Sending brain gain. Four. And one. Make five. Hooray! Going somewhere, Five? No way. We found two numbers that make five. Yes, I know, but I'm afraid I've changed my mind. What? Yes, and now I say, add up to five a different way. We've got to do it another way. What? Four and one, not good enough? You were great. Yeah. But we've got to find another way to add up to five. Agents, any ideas? Watch the man with the trumpet. Putting him on screen. Watch his fingers and thumb. Five digits. Some digits move up and down and do the playing, and the other two don't move. Yes, count the digits that move. One, two, three. 
Oh, yes! And the digits that don't move, one on either side. That's two. Three and two make five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll get two in the brain game machine. Yes, three and two make five. Another way of making five. Send that brain game. Come on, two, three, and two make five. Sending brain game. Yes, yeah. three and two make five. I must admit that yes, they do. First four and one, then three and two. Two different ways of making five. So, just as quick as I arrived, off I go. I'll set you free. But I'll be back. Remember me. Hooray! <laughs> done it. Well done. Everything back to normal. Come on back now, five. Done, Five. I needed everyone's help today. That's what the number jacks are all about. Got everything on screen. Everyone was using their hands instead of their feet. That's not how to play. You can't go wearing shoes in your hands. Or boots. Yuck. Oh, no. Lucky you found two ways to add to five. Four and one. Three and two. Everything sorted. See, we made five for you. Oh, thanks, three. Two different ways. I wonder. What? If my four body blocks were on top of ones instead of underneath, would it still add up to five? Check it. Is four with one on top the same as one with four on top? Find out and call the number jack. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to zoom. This is a good book. And this is a good collection of beautiful things. So I've heard. Lots of times. Lovely. If they're so lovely, perhaps you should share them. Well, that's one for me. And that's one for me. That's not very fair. And that's one for me. All three, you're being a little bit selfish. They are my beautiful things. And if I gave any of them away, they'd be sad. So sad. They'd probably enjoy the peace and quiet. Yes. I'm so sorry, Four, but I simply can't share any of my beautiful things. You can't share anything. I can, I can. For instance, Six, can I borrow your buddy blocks? Yes. Thank you. So, sharing the buddy blocks. Like this. One for you. And what do you think for five for me? Shed. Shed? But it's not fair sharing. Oh, now he wants me to do fair sharing. That's the whole point. You share things equally so everyone gets the same. We've got to have the same number. Do it like this. One for you and one for me. <sighs> one for you. And one for me. And one for you. And one for me. I've got one, two, three. And you've got one, two, three. Fair shares. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Do you think I can have my fair share of peace and quiet? No, none of us can. Come on! Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's the children on the beach. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Sandwiches, yeah. And they're sharing them fairly. Oh, yes. But look. Oh, no. She has no sandwiches and the boy has them all. He's trying... But it's not working. This needs sorting out. So? So we'll send someone. Don't worry. Thanks. We need your help. The number jacks are on their way. Hey! And which number jack is it? Today, I think it's going to be me. Hmm. <laughs> so much for fair shares. <laughs> We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Number six. Checking the room's empty. All clear. Let's go! Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! Looking for a six. That's the one for us. <sighs> OK, ready to sort things out. I could fancy a paddle on that beach. We've got work to do. I'm watching out for things going wrong. They seem all right. Oh, no. She's got both spades. What's going on here? Agents, call in. Need some help here. Agent 101 here. Things aren't being shared fairly. Instead of people having the same number of things each, one person's got all of them. Yes, that boy had all the sandwiches. And the girl had both the spades. Even when they try to be fair, things aren't working out. Six, can you see anything? What weird thing is causing all the trouble? I can spot something. Look at that spade. What is it? Going in closer. Oh, yes. Look, a blob. That's what made the spades go wrong. And look at the plate. A blob of slime. Which means... Yes. Look. Y yucky, yucky. Getting the data on screen. All you need to know about the problem blob. Spot a blob of slime. Guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh -oh. Great big and blubbery. Blubbery. Great big trouble is the blubbery, slubbery problem. Yucky, yucky, yuck. That problem blob is going to take some sorting out. Yes, and quick, he's been blobbing problems all over the place. Tell us about it. The gardener's in a lot of trouble. Getting it on screen. He's dividing the plants between the two pots. Three plants in each pot. That's fair so far. 
What's the problem? Here's the problem. <laughs> Blob. The plants are on the move. Those plants won't stay divided fairly. Those pots haven't got their fair shares of plants. And now the plants are far too crowded. The problem, Blob, is stopping things being shared fairly. <laughs> more problems, more problems. She's divided her bags up, two on each arm. Checking for Blobs. Spotted some Blobs! Spotted some Blobs! Oh, no. Now the bags aren't shared fairly. Poor oh, lady. Mean Blob. <laughs> come on, come on, hey, come on, come on. there's a very boring game of football on the beach. Yeah. That was an easy goal. That's because the players have been blobbed. And they're nearly all on one side. Five against one. That's not fair. If the problem blob keeps stopping things being shared out fairly, anything could happen. There might be two bulls with two horns each, then one bull would get three horns, and the other bull is left with just one. Or instead of two cars having four wheels each, one car would have six wheels, and the other car would only have two. Or instead of two clocks with two hands each, you'd have one clock with four hands, and one clock with no hands. And you can tell the time with either of them. That problem blob has got to be stopped. Yes. Send me the brain gain and I'll do the job. We need to share things out fairly. I'll get the brain gain machine going. Powering up. Brain gain. Brain gain to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain gain. Share things fairly, share things fairly. Share things fairly, share things fairly. Fair shares, fair shares. Sending brain gain now. Share the sandwiches fairly. Share the spades fairly. Share the plants fairly. Share the bags fairly. Divide the players up fairly. That's better. We did it! Hooray! Hang on. I think there's going to be another problem. Those children and their flippers. They need to share the flippers out. But look! Oh no. They won't share out fairly now. That's not very fair. Let's share those flippers fairly. But there's three children to share them. Oh dear. Now what do we do? No problem, just share them out equally. One each, one at a time. That's the way to be fair. OK, one each, one at a time. One each, one at a time. Yes, two each, shared fairly. We've still got to deal with the problem, Blob. He's near the gardener. Share out its blobs of slime until they're all gone. Yes! A blob for every blade of grass in the garden. That's loads of blobs. Share the blobs. Share the blobs. A blob for every blade of grass in the garden. It's using up a lot of blobs. It's used up all the blobs. He won't be making trouble for a long time. We did it! Yeah! Yeah! Come back now, Six. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six! Scary. 
Sharing did the trick. And we've got it all on screen. There was trouble with the sandwiches. Not shared fairly. Nor with the spades. And those plants were a problem. All in one pot. That lady's bags were a problem too. And so was five playing against one. We sorted things. Even when three people were sharing. One each, one at a time. He won't be making trouble for a long time. And then something really strange happened. More. You were right. It is a good book. And so is the book that Five's reading to us. We're sharing books. Three number jacks reading this book. And three number jacks reading this book. Did I hear there's some reading going on? Love a good book. Yeah, me too. Which book are you going to read? Hmm. Wow, now there are eight number jacks. If we are all shared out fairly, how many number jacks will there be reading each book? Work it out and call the number jacks. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to I like watching the blue ball and listening. Very peaceful. Well, I like looking at my beautiful things and I think these, yes, these are my three favourites. One, two, three. Lovely. One, two... Hey, three! Your counting is interrupting my blooping. Well, your blooping is interrupting my counting. And counting beautiful things is a bit more important. That's what you think. Bloop, bloop. Hey, Five, look. My three favourite beautiful things. Let's have a look. Oh, better count them again. There's still three. But they've moved. Yes, but... Well... I suppose I can see there are three, but one, two, three, just to be sure. Bloop, bloop. Four! Bloop! Oh, sorry, got a bit bloopy there. My beautiful things are all over the place. I definitely better count them now. There's still three things. Even I can see that and I'm still a bit bloopy. Yes, but one, two, three. Ah, uh, there's a problem somewhere. Come on, don't go away. Here we go again. A call coming in. are going wrong but not for long have a look hold on i'm putting it on screen the boy had some marbles but they wouldn't move not much fun and then <gasps> not much fun at all really bad and this girl had some dolls and they fell over and then they disappeared There'll be someone on their way very soon. Thanks. It's me, it's me, it's got to be me. What? It's got, got, got to be me that goes out. Why? Didn't you notice? Put them on screen, quick. Didn't you notice how many things there were? Three. Three marbles, three dolls. This has to be investigated by number jack three. Me. Okay. Yes. Three is going out. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number three! <laughs>
about this three. Yes, just send me out there. Ready for launch. Final check, the room's empty. The room's not empty. Ringing the doorbell. Nearly clear. They've gone. Here we go. Looking for a three. Need a three to land on. Yeah. Got one. Oh, yes, I did it. Plenty more still to do, three. I am on my way. Three's going to need some help. Agent's calling in. What do you think, Agent 55? Things have been coming in threes. Three marbles, three dolls. Yeah. So we better watch out for more lots of three things. Good thinking. Three. Shh. I'm on a secret mission. I know. But watch out for things that there are three of. I will. Can you see three of anything? Yes. Look. The three red balloons. Something might go wrong with them. Yes. You're right. Oh, no. Three, what's going on? I don't know. The three balloons have all popped. Can you see anything suspicious outside? Well, I... I know that hat. It's the number takers. Um, I think I want to go home. Stick with it, Three. Give me all the information we've got on the number taker. Putting the info on screen. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, nicking, getting, writing as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. He's mucking up everything that comes in threes. Where's he going now? Well, you've got to follow him, Three. What? He's looking for more things that come in threes. To make them disappear. Right. If the number taker spots things in threes, anything could happen. <coughs> he might see three things here. One, two, three. The three clouds. He might see three things here. Three wheels. Or, the number taker might find three things here. Three flags. Someone's got to stop that number taker. Three has got to stop that number taker. I hope she can do it. I can see that meanie number taker. He's looking for more things than threes. How many people? Phew, only two. Oh no, can anyone spot what I can see? Three chairs! I know! And so does the number taker! He's got a magnet! He's taken one of the chairs! Not a good start to their lovely meal! Oh no! The second chair! That's the third chair going! That number taker is ruining their meal! Try to spot anything else that's in threes! Look! More threes! The ladies' rings! 
buttons on the man's sleeves. The number taker's in control again. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. This is terrible. We've got to stop this. Agents, agents, any ideas? How do we stop the number taker? The number taker is controlling things that come in threes. If there weren't any threes, he couldn't do anything. So how do we stop there being threes? Change the number of things. Add one more thing to three things. Make it four things. A much better number. I'll get number one to go in the brain game machine. Hang on in there, three. Help is on the way. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. Go! Three, add one, makes four. Three, add one, makes four. Sending brain game now! Whoa! Whoa! Three, add one, makes four. Three, add one, makes four. There's four rings and four buttons. The number taker can't control things anymore. We did it! Oh no! Trouble again! There's three people! another person. Okay. Sorry about this. Three, add one, makes four. Did the trick. We did it. The number taker's not happy. We did it, we did it, we did it. Watch out, three. Don't forget he's after threes. One. Makes four. I'm four. I'm four. I can't look. Three, four, three, four, three, four. You did it, three. Yay! Yeah. Hooray! You've got a very funny shape, four. It's a very nice shape. Maybe. But get me back to normal, please. Four. Take away one is three. Okay. Four. Take away one. Makes three. That's better. Come on back now, three. All clear for landing. Three. I did it! It's all on screen. The boy lost his marbles. And the dolls went. And then there was all sorts of problems for the man and the lady. Three things in trouble every time. Very silly. Adding one and making things four sorted everything out. And I had to become four. Good to be back with my beautiful things. Good to be back with my blue ball. And you know, Three, it was only when you turned into the same shape as me that you beat the number taker. He ran off because it was such a horrible sight. Are you saying I'm ugly? Well, I wouldn't call you one of my beautiful things, but you are one of my favourite things. <gasps> I've come ever all blippy again. <laughs> but just in case that number taker is still around, watch out for things that come in threes. 
And if you see any, call the number jacks. It is, isn't it? I've been practicing. But I haven't had time to hide. That's not my fault. The rules are count to ten and then start seeking. But you've got to count slowly. But I'm in a fast mood today. I can't do slow. But you've got to do it slowly. Like this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, are you all right? No, I am not. I can't count that slowly. I'd fall asleep before I got to one. All right, then. All right. If you can't count slowly, count more numbers. More numbers? Count to ten and keep on going. Okay. What do you say for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Eleven, twelve, sixteen, fourteen. No, 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 no. You're supposed to be hiding. And you're supposed to be counting properly past ten, like this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, <laughs> seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Three. Three. I'm the one who's supposed to be hiding. Three. Your slow counting has made me go bonkers. Ah! That's better. As I was saying. Eleven. Thank heaven for that. Come on. Twelve. Thirteen. Adrian calling in. 17. 18. Agent 33 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. This boy on the beach. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. He had one sand castle. Very nice. And suddenly he had lots more. One, two, three, four, five more. Then another five more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And with the one he already had, that makes... Eleven! So instead of one sand castle, he's got eleven sand castles all over him. Right, we need to send someone out there. Thanks. Four's been doing some very useful counting today. Have I? So it looks like it's number four. <laughs> Keep practicing the counting for 
Okay. Eleven. Twelve. Checking the room's clear. Only Jasper. He's not bothered. Stand by for... Thirteen. Fourteen. And off you go! Need a four to land on. Found a four. Okay, four. Yes, yes, I'm okay. Good luck, four. I'm looking for anything strange. And I think I've seen something strange. I know who that is. So do I. The number taker. Ah! We need some info on the number taker. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, nicking, getting, matching as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. What's the number taker up to? I don't know, but I bet it's something mean. I can see the number taker. He's written a three. He's bad. Writing on the wall. He's writing some more. He's written a one in front of the three. Why? There's five more, and another five. That's ten. And the other three make thirteen. Thirteen candy flosses? Yummy! Somehow I don't think it's going to be good. Oh no! Her mum's going to be angry. What's going on here? What is the number taker up to? Number taker is a number maker today. He made the number three into thirteen by putting a one in front of it. That's amazing! Just putting a one in front makes it ten more. Three becomes thirteen. Too big a number to handle. Maybe that's how he made the extra sandcastles. I found some extra shots of what happened. It's the number taker making numbers. One sandcastle and the one in front makes it ten more, which is eleven. Just putting a one in front makes it ten more. If the number taker keeps on putting a one in front of numbers, anything could happen. A racing car with four wheels might become a car with fourteen wheels. Ten more wheels, four become fourteen. A glove with four fingers and a thumb, five digits, might get bigger. A glove for ten extra digits, making fifteen digits. And a crab with six legs would get ten more legs, making it sixteen legs. Far too many. That number taker has got to be stopped. The number taker's up to his tricks again. What's he up to now? She's got one sunshade. She's got ten more. Eleven. We've got to stop this. Any ideas? How do we get things back to the number they were before? The number taker put a one in front to make the numbers bigger. We've got to get rid of the one that means ten more. If it's fourteen, get rid of the one in front and it'll be four again. I'll get the brain game going. We're sending brain game to sort things out. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game.
Rub out the one, that means ten more. Rub out the one, that means ten more. Eleven. Eleven goes back to one. There's thirteen. Get rid of the one and make it three. This is good. We can sort the number taker. Need some more brain game though, three. You got it. One. One. What did you say, three? I said one. Oh no. I should have said rub out the one. You might have made an extra one. Oh, that's weird. Careful, four. That brain game might turn a number into ten more. Whoa. What's up? That's not four anymore. That's fourteen. A one next to a four means I'm fourteen. I'm so grown up. Four. We've got brain gain work to do. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm fourteen. A teenager. Nearly a grown up. Four. We've got work to do. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I've got things to do. Call me Mr. Cool. Yeah. Oh, no! Teenagers are a bit wild sometimes. I'm not four, I'm 14. The coolest dude you've ever seen. We've got to get four back to normal. We've got to get him back to being four. I'll send the proper brain game this time to turn 14 back to four. Rub out the one, that means ten more. Fourteen, get rid of one, is four again. Yeah, watch fourteen go. Wait till he stops. Yeah. Get rid of the one, that's making four into fourteen. Whoa, wow, wow. I'm four again. Good. It was fun. But you've got work to do that a teenager couldn't handle. Too busy singing. Okay, then. Let's get rid of those ones. Eleven sunshades, back to one. Now sort that number taker. Uh, which one? That funny brain game you sent three. It's turned one number taker into eleven number takers. They don't like each other. They're going to suck each other up. They're disappearing. Now for all clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Great work, four. Thanks. It was fun being 14. It was fun watching the number takers disappear. We've got it all on screen. One sandcastle, eleven sandcastles. Three, one in front, that's thirteen. Whoa, that number taker. Making everything ten more than before. Then four was ten more. Fourteen. Oh my word. Too many number takers. Going. Going. Gone. Okay, one. You come up right next to me. And now we're 13. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to stay next to me or I can't be a teenager. Oh, hi. Hi. Say it. 13. That's good. If one was in front of seven or eight or nine, I wonder what numbers that would make. Find out and call the number jack.
Four. What do you think of this? Wow, that looks good. It's great. Fantastic! Uh, what is it? It's a moving mat. Wow. Just moves the car then, does it? No, I think it can move anything, really. I'd love to see if it would work on you. Oh, would you? Where do I stand? There's great. OK. I hope I can work this. I'm ready. I must be mad. OK, ready? I'm switching on. Going to slide you forwards. Wow! And back. Yeah! And slide you left and right. Yeah, room! This is great. Well, that was exciting. And I can turn you, too. Turn you this way. Yeah! Hey! It's stuck! Well, get it on stuck then! <laughs> Did the trick! Oh, I'm giddy! I haven't quite got the hang of the controls. Quick! Come on! I'll do my best. Oh! Coming in. Who's calling? Agent 17 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. Look at this. But to get on screen. Oh, still a bit dizzy. On screen. She's looking at a book. I like books. But this book moves. It's sliding. That's a very strange book. Very strange. We better send someone out straight away. I'm up for it. Thanks. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five. Checking it's all clear for launching. All clear. Finding a five, finding a five. Found some fives. That's a good five. Whew, made it. I'll go and find that girl. What's going on with that book? Agent's calling in. Agent 41 here. That book keeps sliding about. Is Agent 60 here? Is Light 6's moving mat? Of course! Left. Right. And forward. OK, we know what's going on. Sounds like we've got more problems here. That spot is painting. There's a lot going wrong in this house. More sliding! <laughs> ah! It's the 
shape japer. What do we know about the japer? Data on screen now. Looks like the shape japer's back. Shape, japer, she's really very strange. Shape, japer, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs. Changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the japer's game. Shape Japer's back. But why is the Shape Japer interested in a book, a painting, and a plate? Putting them on screen. The Shape Japer must like their shapes. The book is a rectangle. And so is the painting. And the plate is a circle. So that's why the Shape Japer is messing about. They're all rectangles or circles. Shape Japer, you've got to stop sliding these shapes around. Okay. Okay. What? You're going to stop sliding things? Yeah. Wow, that was easy. Uh, maybe you can come home now, Five. I don't think so. <laughs> The Shape Japer's turning shapes now. Right, Shape Japer, no sliding or turning the shapes. Hey! You sure? Yeah. I'm not sure she means it. And if she keeps on sliding and turning shapes, anything could happen. She might look for a circle and see the sun. And then she'd slide the sun around in the sky. Light, dark, light. Or she might look for a rectangle and see the window and start sliding it about. Really confusing. Or she might look for another rectangle and see the door and start sliding it or turning it and you'd never get in your house. That shape japer could cause all sorts of trouble. It's agent 106 here. The shape japer is moving people now. Oh no! Where is she? With the cleaner. I'm on my way. Got the cleaner. He's seen some mess that needs mopping up. It's the shape japer. Turn back. <laughs> oh no, the poor cleaner looks terrible. We're going to have to sort this mess out for him. But the poor man can't move. How are we going to move him? Have we got anything we can move him with? Use the moving mat. That can make things move. Of course. If we can get the moving mat connected to the brain gain machine, we can do it. Come on. Don't worry, Five. We've got a cunning plan. Good, because the cleaner needs all the help we can give him. Poor man. The mat's connected to the brain gain. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. Right. First, we've got to get him out of the mess. OK. How do we move him first? Turn, 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 turn! Oh, no. Sorry. 
Let's get him out of this mess. And he goes forward. He's going to need more water on his mop. Turn him. Turn him to the bucket. Turn to the bucket. Now, forward a bit. Yes. Now, how do we get him pointing at the mess? Turn him again. Turn to the mess. Forward a bit. Back a bit. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. He's happy now. There's nothing like a nice clean floor. Great. I can come back. Ah! Oh, the shape japers back! <laughs> Give me some help! Forward, back! Turn, 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 turn! Turn, 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 turn! turn, 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 turn. Ah. Forward, forward, forward! Forward, forward, forward! That sorted her! Come back now, five! All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Well done, Five. I'm still a bit dizzy. I know how you feel. All on screen. That book kept sliding. And the painting. And the play kept sliding too. Then things started turning. Like the painting. It's hard to eat when the plate's turning. And it was all the shape japers' fault. Sliding and turning those circles and rectangles. And making life hard for the cleaner. The cleaner was moved all over the place. We sorted things out. Forward, back, forward, back. Job well done. And we got rid of the shape japer. All sorted. Are you sure this is a good idea? I can definitely do it. Moving two numbers at once. Oh, dear. Let's go! Forward. Ooh. Back. <laughs> yes! Right. <laughs> See? I can do it. Careful! Ooh. Oh, sorry. Look. Two looks a different shape when she turns around. But one looks the same shape. Can you think of two other number jacks that look the same shape when they're turned around the other way? Find out and call the number jacks. only us here. We can still call it a festival. I've even put up some flags. Now let's get on with the jumping. OK, we start from here and we have to jump six squares to get to number six. Can we do as many jumps as we like? Three? You don't have to be the announcer all the time. Sorry! Sorry. And yes, you can take as many jumps as you need to get to six. And first to jump is... Number one! And how many squares are you going to jump at a time, number one? Just one. And only a little number. Let's see how many jumps will number one take to get to six. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six! Hooray! Hooray! I'm number 
number two. So I'm jumping two squares at a time. One jump, two jumps, three jumps by number two gets to six. Hooray! Yeah! And next it's me! Yay! And number three, that's me, will be jumping three at a time. One jump, two jumps, three, that's me, did two jumps of three. Hooray! Hooray! And now, number six, how many jumps will you be taking? Well, number three, I'm going to try to do it in one jump of six. Jumping six squares in just one jump of six, it's number six! Hey! Fantastic! Just one jump of six! We all jumped six squares in our own different ways. Come on! Time for action! Jump to it! What's an agent calling in? Who? Agent 22 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's the kids at the holiday club. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. It's the dance game. Look. There's nothing there. Let's have a look. There's one, two, three, four, five. What's missing? Me! Six! My number's missing. Would you send someone? Yes, we'll send me. Thanks. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. <laughs> Six. Checking all clear for launch. All clear. Go, go, go! Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! Looking for a six. Still looking. That's the one. Keep your eyes open. Are there any more problems with the number sixes here? What about that ladder? Wow, what happened there? Agent's calling in. Agent 41 here, count the steps. Is Agent 60 here? Count exactly how many steps she took. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six steps. That must be why it disappeared. Right, keep your eyes open for more sixes. Any sixes there? Just checking. Two lots of three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six things again. It's sixes again. The sixes are disappearing. Two lots of three or six ones. Agent 106 here. Are there any more sixes? What about these stars? That's one gone. Two, three, four, five, six. 
They don't look much like stars now. Look on the display. Blobs of slime. That can only mean one thing. The problem blob. If you spot a blob of slime, guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh oh. Great big and blubbery. Blubbery. Great big trouble is the blubbery, snubbery problem. Blob. There he is. We'll send some brain game to get the sixes back. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brains. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Bring back the sixes. Bring back the sixes. That's not how they were before. That's not what you think. That's not right. They don't look much like stars. The six pointy bits are back. But they're in the wrong places. There's two lots of three stuck together. What about the stepladder? She wants to go up one step at a time. <coughs> that was three jumps of two. <laughs> That's the wrong arrangement of steps. And two jumps of three. What next? One jump of six. It's still sixes. But the six things have got to be arranged the right way. If not, anything could happen. <coughs> if you shared a giant chocolate bar, six lots of one, <coughs> the blob would join it all up again. And an ant with six legs might get blobbed. And instead of two lots of three on each side, it would have one lot of six on one side. And shoelaces are hard enough to tie when the holes are in the right place. What if two lots of three became one lot of six? That would be really hard to tie. We've got to get these sixes sorted out the right way. Yes. Oh, no. How many children are there? Three lots of two. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. There's six of them. They might get blobbed. <laughs> They're going to disappear. We need Brain Gain to bring them back. Bring back the six. Bring back the six. They're back. But they're holding hands differently. That's one lot of six. What's going on? That's not right. That's six ones. And that's not right. That's two lots of three. They had partners. They were three lots of two. Get them back to where they were. Three lots of two. Three lots of two. Three lots of two. Did the trick. Now the paints. We need two lots of three. Two lots of three. That's it. Sort the dice. One lot of three, two lots of three, six. Now sort the steps. Six lots of one, six lots of one. That's it. You've got to sort the problem blob out now, Six. Let's see how good he is at jumping. Yeah. Jumping six miles, jumping six miles. Six, 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 six
One huge jump of six miles. Right, I'm coming back. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six. We did it. Great to see all those sixes. And you can see them all on screen. The six on the dice disappeared. And the ladder with six steps. Paint pot. And the six points of the stars. And the children. Three lots of two. We got the six things back. But they were the wrong arrangements. Like the stars. And the step ladder. And the children. Finally sorted them out into the right arrangements. And sent the problem blob on a six mile jump. I've got a feeling this isn't going to work. Hmm. Now, Zero, you jump to six. How many squares are you going to jump at a time? Zero. Zero? Zero. Oh, well, anyway. Jumping zero squares at a time, how many jumps will Zero take to get to six? One. Two. Three. I think this might take Four, a very long time. Five, so why don't you keep your eyes open six, for things that come in sixes? Seven, things you can eat, eight, things you can drink, nine, anything. And call the number jacks. Keep quiet for two seconds. What I mean is, you're always talking. You always say that. That's because you're always talking. And this will prove you can't keep quiet. Oops, what's that? That is the beeper. Beep. Hello, beeper. Beep. What does it do? It's a timer. The beeper is going to time how many beeps you can keep quiet for. Loads of beeps. I could be quiet for ages and ages. OK. What about ten beeps? No problem. Ooh, ten whole beeps of silence. You're the one who's talking now. Right. Ten beeps starting now. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah! I knew you couldn't do it. I knew it! If the beeper can time me being silent, it could also time me being noisy. Oh, oh no. One, well, there we are. Oh, two, bargo, boo. Oh, I love three, making go. noise. Don't you? Four, noisy, noisy, noisy. Five, woo -ba, woo -ba, woo -ba. Six, seven, Oh, thank you, Alarm. Thank you. Nine. I could have carried on. I know. Come on. Beep. I could keep talking for ages. Yes, yes. Agent 38 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. Look at this. On the screen. Look at 
Look, he's doing up his shoe. He hadn't finished doing his shoe up. She didn't give him much time. And look at this. That wasn't enough time. We're on our way. I'm up for it. Great. Thanks. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five. <laughs> Checking it's all cliff launching. All clear. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Looking for a five to land on. There's a good one. OK, I'm here. I'll look for those children. Wait, we've got another agent calling in. Agent 54 here. We've got problems at the cafe. That looks nice. Oh, no. What's going on? The boy in his shoe, the girl in her coat, the man and his food. What happened to them all? Agent 79 here. Somebody stopped them. They didn't have enough time. OK, now we need to find out who's doing this. <laughs> and I think I'm beginning to guess. Spooky Spoon! Putting the data on screen. Uh-oh. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool She's only plastic but she thinks she's fantastic Or does she think she is spooky Oh well, if it's not my number -y friend, five I'm no friend of yours, Spooky Spoon. Oh, charmed, I'm sure. Well, let me tell you, Five, I'm having fun today. I'm making sure nobody's got enough time to do anything! Spooky Spoon makes you seem quiet. People need time to do things properly. Well, they're not going to get it, are they? <laughs> I didn't let her have enough time to get dressed. <laughs> oh, no, him. We've got to stop Spooky Spoon. It's Agent 95 here. They all need more time to do things. Getting the brain game machine going. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Give them more time. Give them more time. Give them more time. Give them more time. Oh, 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 oh what? You want people to have more time. <laughs> Mix. The waitress is taking too much time now. The food's going to be freezing by the time it gets there. <laughs> we haven't stopped Spooky Spoon. If people don't have enough time or have too much time, Anything could happen. If there was never enough time to wash your face, in the end you'd get so dirty, plants might start growing on your face. 
And if there was never enough time to get dressed, you'd have to go out in your pyjamas. And then, if Spooky Spoon gave you too much time outside, you'd be out there for ages and ages and get covered in snow. We've got to stop that Spooky Spoon messing about with time. You've got to find out exactly how much time things take. If you can time things, you know how long they should take. Of course! We can use my beeper! Do some timing! Do some timing! Five! Can you find someone whose Spooky Spoon hasn't messed up yet? There's a woman over there looks OK. OK. Let's time her drinking. Ready for timing. Here she goes. Start timing. One, two, three, four, five. Five beeps. OK. Now we need to find someone dressing. That boy's doing his coat up. Starting timing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight beeps for that boy doing his coat up. Now we know how much time things take. Well, time for me to have a bit more fun. Oh, no, it isn't. Get ready with Brain Game. I can make people take as much time as I want them to. Like drinking. Oh, no, you can't. The lady drinking takes five beeps. Take two much time. Take five beeps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! time things take. No! Huh. I'll fix this child getting dressed. Going up coat, eight beeps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can time anything, Spooky Spoon, and stop you messing it up. Oh, can you? Ha! Can you stop me messing you up? Run for it, Five! She's near the edge. She's going to fall. Make her fall take lots of time. Lots of time. Lots of time. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Taking lots of time. Nice and slow. Ooh. You numberjacks think you're so clever. We are, because we use our brains to think. Well, think about this. I am going to be around for a very long time. Not if we can help it. Set the beeper to zero beeps. Spooky Spoon's going to be around for... No time at all. No time at all. Zero time. I am going to be around making you trouble. For, ah! For no time at all. Come back now, Five. Well done. Here I come. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. I needed a lot of help. A lot of thinking going on back here. Now see it on screen. Spooky was stopping people having the time to do things. No time for eating. 
or for getting dressed. We made Spooky give people more time. But now they had too much time. That's when the beeper came in handy. So we could say exactly how much time things should take. Spooky was after you. I couldn't see. Lots of time to fall slowly. No time at all for Spooky Spoon. Now what I've done, Five, is set the beeper to zero, which means three can be noisy for no time at all. I see. No time at all. No time at all for being silent. No, no time at all for being noisy. I prefer no time for being silent. So lots of time for being noisy. Oh no. Yes, yoggle, boggle, oh, bingo, no. bango, <laughs> boo. I love making oh. noise, don't you? Yeah, what can yeah. you find that shows how much time something takes? Have a look for things and call the number jacks. One, I know you will. You get to go first. Yeah. And two, you get to go in the middle. Middle, middle, middle. Yes. And it all builds up to the big moment when it's three. That's me. Number one, don't fall asleep. Yeah. We've got to do one, two, Three. Middle, middle, middle. Yes, OK, two. Wow! And our buddy blocks want to join in, too. Fine. Come on, one. Come and stand over here. Middle, middle, middle. Come on, two. You get ready to say two. Middle, middle, middle. Middle, middle, middle. Great. Nearly there. Bunny blocks. At last. Here we go. Ready for one, two, three. One. Wake up. Yeah. Go. One, two. Middle, middle, middle. Come on, we've got a call coming in. We were so close, so close. Agent Seventeen here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. Have a look. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Looks OK so far. But watch. Two hats. Three hats. Three! So? That's my number. We'll send a number, Jack, right away. And it might be me. Thanks very much. Do you think you're up to it, Three? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Well, OK. Three's going out. Oh, yes! Get ready for launching. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out there? Number 
number three. for lunch. Final check the room's empty. All clear, apart from Jasper. Here we go! Looking for a three. We need a three. Need a three. Got that three. Whoa! Yes! I have arrived! Good, because it sounds like we've got more problems. Agent 54 here. There's trouble at the bowling alley. OK, so far... Watch now. Beach balls are no good for bowling. I can sort things out. Is Agent 60 here? The builder is having problems. He's doing a good job. Not anymore, he isn't. He certainly isn't. What's going on? Check the number of things. Is there a pattern? Same thing happening. Count the different hats. One. Two. Three. Count the different balls. One, two, three. And the different hammers. One, two. Three. Well, I can definitely see the pattern. Ah! Hide. The puzzler. That means trouble. Information on screen. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles mean trouble. If you get trapped inside, you better stop thinking if the puzzler has caught you. Because if you can sort the puzzle out, the puzzler will sort you. Puzzlers making things change from one to two to three, anything could happen. You might be walking along with a bag on your back and it would become two bags, then three really heavy bags. Or you might mm. have a bowl of lovely soup and it becomes two bowls of not very nice soup or three bowls of horrible soup. Or you might have a dream about one scary monster and it becomes two scary monsters or three monsters. Ooh. Someone's got to stop that puzzler. Here I am. Yeah! I'm causing trouble. Watch out, three. Here comes my bubble. Come on, three. Come on. Run! Oh, watch out! The bubble's catching up! Oh no, she's been chased into the pattern place! Oh no! I don't like this place! I want to get out! Well, maybe I will let that happen if you can find the special pattern. Find the pattern, it's one, two, three, but you are not allowed to see. That's not fair. How can I find a pattern if I can't see? <laughs> You're mean. Yeah. <laughs> Agent 106 here. Maybe it's not looking you have to do. Maybe you've got to listen. Yes, listen to find the pattern. 
One laugh, then two, then three. Hmm, next. Nine squares for us to fill in. Oh, no! If I get most squares, then I will win. Three might need some help. Nine squares. Get number nine, quick! I'll find her. I'll go first. Why? Because I want to. And my numbers are one, two. Then I'll say three. Yes! I found nine. What are you doing? I've just made sure this cat has got all its nine lives. Three needs you. Three, I'm on my way. Well now, three, how did you do? You've got one square, but I've got two. Now what goes here? Can you predict? What is the number you should pick? Uh, uh... It's four! It's four! Yeah, four. Uh... Too slow, it's four. One more to me, and I'll have five. You're losing three. I can fill in the next square. We've had one, two, three. She's panicking. Four, five. Six, six. Six. Yes. Now I've got four squares. Whoopity woo. Dear me, three, that will not do. Now which square shall I fill in? Cause I need just one square to win. We've got to win all the rest. What's the next number going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got to be seven. It's seven. Oh, you're so clever, to be sure. But I need just one square more. It's, it's eight, 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 eight. It's eight, eight. It's four squares each. Ooh, the excitement's at its peak. But now, young three, you cannot speak. <laughs> What number is it? Nine! Sorry, three, I'm afraid you're mumbling. So sorry how your cookie's crumbling. The number is nine. Don't you forget it. Seven, eight, nine! We've got more squares and we've won! Hooray! Boo! Boo-hoo! Boo-hoo-hoo! Come back now, three. And nine. Yes, please! All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! Nine saved me! We've got it on screen! One, two, three hats! Then the same pattern with the balls. And the hammers. It was all that puzzler's fault! And he chased me into the pattern place. Yeah. There were one, yeah. two, yeah. three yeah. laughs! Yeah. Yeah. And then the number puzzle. The puzzler nearly won. Lucky I called for nine. Only too happy to help. Watch me, nine. I'm watching. This time, we're going to do it. One, two, three. Yes! Excellent work, one, two and three. And your buddy blocks. I wonder if we could do all the numbers from zero to nine. Well, can you out there find something that is like the puzzler's number square? With a square of numbers, one to nine? Try to find something and call the number jacks.
sofa in an ordinary room. Extraordinary heroes who are standing by to zoom. I go first. And this one. All right. I think I'll do the same. The. And the. I wonder what it's going to be. Add one of these. That's good for me. I know what it's going to be. One more piece from me. And from me. Yes. It's a person. A little person. Do you like it? I think we did a pretty good job. Well, you just made your side match the same as fives. So? So, you could have made some things a bit different. I didn't want them different. I mean, you could have made the little person wave. Hello, little person. But I like my side being the same. Or, you could have made him dance a bit. Dance, little person. La 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 la. I just wanted my side to be exactly the same as yours. I'm going to dance with the little person. La 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 la. Careful, three. Look what you've done to the little person. He's all right. No, he's not. Half his head's fallen off for a start. Don't worry, we can put it all back. How? Your side used to match my side. Yes. So we can put it all back together. Put my side of the head back to match. And the body and the arm match. And the leg matches. There he is. Both sides match exactly the same. The alarm. Come on. Bye, little person. Agent calling in. Agent 17 here. What's up, Agent 17? Things are going wrong. But not for long. This boy and his card. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> He's making a card, but look what's happening to one side. That side doesn't match anymore. And this dad was cutting a cake in half. But look! <laughs> One side of the cake's changed too. Can you send someone? Right away! Four, do you think you could do it? Uh, why not? We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to explore. Who's going out there? Number four. Checking the room's clear. All clear. Four, three, two, one, zero! Got to find a four. Need that four to land on. Found a four. Hang on. 
Agent 22 here, the builder's got a problem. I'm on my way. The builder's having trouble with his bits of wood. He's going to have to saw that extra bit off. That's better. But look! That's one weird piece of wood. He's going to be here all day. Agent's calling in. Hello, Agent. Agent 41 here. The two signs should be the same. They should match. The two sides match, then they didn't. The sides of the cake matched, then they didn't. And the two sides of the wood still aren't matching. And I think I know why. Look, the shape chamber's here! <laughs> Watch out for... We need all the information we can get on the shape chamber. Putting it on screen. Looks like the shape chamber's back. Shape chamber, she's really very strange. Shape, shape up. She loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs, changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the shapers' game. The shape shapers back. <laughs> Get after her, four. <sighs> He looks all right. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! She started changing people. The man's going to get into trouble just because his two sides don't match. The shape jape is coming back. Now what? An extra leg, that's what. Now his two sides really don't match. If the shape japer keeps on making sides not match, anything could happen. If he wore glasses and the sides didn't match, that would look weird. And your glasses might fall off. The two sides of the dancing cow match each other. But she might get an extra horn. Or all her legs might be on one side and none on the other. And a butterfly has got a pair of beautiful matching wings. But if the shape japer made its wings not match, it wouldn't fly properly at all. That shape japer has got to be stopped. We need to make everything so both sides match. And I've got just the number jack to do it. Number eight, happy to help. And both my sides definitely match. Starting the brain game machine. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. Let me add it. Brain game, both sides match. Brain game. Wow, this is strong brain game. Here it goes. Both sides match. Both sides match. Both sides match. Sort that poor man out. Both sides match. 
He's fine. Both sides match. Hooray! Both sides match. Both sides match. Oh, yes. It's making too much brain gain. Wow, that's strong stuff. What's happened? The extra strong brain gain has made both your sides match. Never been the same both sides before. Takes a bit of getting used to. Careful with the brain gain, Paul. Oh dear. I can't stop this both sides matching brain gain. His two sides match all the time now. So his legs have got to move exactly the same. <laughs> We're causing more trouble than the shape shaper did. Sorry, got a bit carried away. We need a number that can stop both sides matching when they shouldn't. Can I help? Great! My two sides are completely different, and I love it. OK, get ready for some new brain gain. Sides don't match. Sides don't match. Wow! That's better. I'll try and sort that man out. Sides don't match! Sometimes the sides match. And sometimes they don't. Got to sort the shape shaper out now. Let's send her both types of brain gain. Sides don't match. <laughs> sides match. Don't match. Match. Don't match. Match. Don't match. Oh. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> That's got rid of her. Done it. Come back now, Fo. On my way. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Well done, Fo. Thanks. It was weird having matching sides. Right. Much better not to. We've got everything on screen. The two sides of the card didn't match. All the two sides of the cake. And the wood was definitely not matching on both sides. And nor was the man. All that shape japer's fault. And we tried to fix things. I was a bit too keen, I think. That was strange. Everything had matching sides when they shouldn't have. And I got in there to put things right. Sometimes matching is good. Sometimes not matching is good. Everything sorted. Even the shape trip. Yes, yes. Your sides definitely don't match. That's the way I like it. And your sides definitely do. Which is fine by me. OK, agents. What about the other numbers? Find another number that has sides that don't match and a number that has sides that do match. And then, call the number jacks. Right, the jump pad. OK, I'm going first. Fine, you go ahead. Watch this. Onto the jump pad, then onto the paper. Whoa! Ah. It's not easy the first time you do it. I bet. You can do an extra flip. No, thank you. Like this. Yay! <laughs> Did the trick. Hardly smudgy at all. OK, Four, 
Ready to go. Well, uh... A number jack's got to do jumping. Yes, well, there's jumping and there's jumping. You can do it, Four. You're right, I can. Couldn't I just go and find a giant felt it pen? You've got to make the mark yourself. OK, here it goes. Yeah! Pretty good for a first go. It's more a splat than a four. We'll have another go. Uh, yeah, later. Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Who's calling in? Agent 79 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. This is Go and her fridge magnets. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. What's wrong with those? They were fine, but look at the four. That's a four? Well, it was. Something's gone wrong with it. Oh, dear. And look at these dice. Four spots. Gone? Oh, dear, oh, dear. What? Four, you're going out. Thought so. All right, let's do it. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to explore. Who's going out there? Number four. <laughs> Checking the room is all clear. Need to clear the room. Oh, me! Doorbell! All clear now. to find a four. Looking for fours. Found a four. Ooh, that was a bit uncomfortable. Sorry, the best one I could find. There are problems with fours all over the place. Oh, great. It's Ellen and Sophie here. There's a problem with the delivery. OK, I'm on to it. Parcel will never get delivered. She doesn't know what house to deliver it to. Here we go. It's Agent 95 here. There's a problem at the restaurant. I'm on to it. It's table four, but their table number's gone. Now they'll never get served. They don't seem to mind. OK, another job to do. Oh, no. I can see what's causing all the trouble. The slime. The problem blob. Ah, uh, the blob. Not what you want to see at a restaurant. Information about him on the screen now. If you spot a blob of slime, guess what? Big slob can buy uh -oh. a great big and blubbery. blubbery. Great big trouble is the blubbery, snubbery problem. Blub. Oh, I think I've been hit. So is the man at exactly the same time. What's happening? The slime has swapped them over. He's Numberjack Man. And Four thinks he's the man. That's Lady's boyfriend. 
He's going to try to be the table number. He can't go around being a number, Jack. Oh, no. What's he going to do next? Agent 106 here. We've got a problem. This boy has got a birthday cake, but the number for it is missing. Can you send a number, Jack, to? That was quick. Number Jack Man is being the door number. What's Number Jack Man going to do now? Oh no! He's not very good at being a Number Jack. And Four's not very good at being a person. If four carries on being a person, anything could happen. <laughs> For a start, four wouldn't be very good at riding a bike. He'd be good at some things in school. Two and two. Four! But he wouldn't be very good at playing in the playground. And what job could he get? A racing driver? Or a doctor? <laughs> Or a pop star? Not very likely. Number Jack Man is going to get himself into more trouble. That man lost the number four on his football shirt. That lady's phone is missing a number. What is it? It's four. Oh, no! Nobody wants a great big number jack man to be the number. You can't really blame them. He really wants to help people, but he can't be a number. He's too big. Well, somebody's got to make some numbers to put things back to normal. And Four can't. He still thinks he's a person. It's got to be Numberjack Man. Agents, any ideas how the Numberjack Man could make some numbers? Maybe he can make a number with dots. Or maybe with lines. Let's get Numberjack Man going. <laughs> Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Start with an easy way. Make four dots. Write four dots. Write four dots. <laughs> Try the dots on the man. Great! How else can Number Jack Man write four? Now he can do four lines. Four lines! They got a new cake. That's the cake sorted out. The man wants lines as well as spots. Write the next number four. Write the number four.
The man wants his shirts finished off. Three different ways of writing four. We've got to sort out our four now. He's not happy. We've got to swap them back. Swap, swap. Swap them back. What's been going on? Just got to sort the blob. Let's swap him too. Swap him with something far away. Hmm. Something from where polar bears live. Swap! Swap! What will it be? A big lump of ice. And the blob won't mess around with polar bears. Come back now, Four. On my way. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four! That was very weird. But everything got sorted. Have a look. All the fours were going wrong. Or disappearing. That door number. And I was going to sort out the table number. When the blob swapped you with the man. Ah, you were being a person. And the man was being a number jack man. He tried very hard to be a good number jack. Looks like he wasn't very good at it. Not till we sent him some brain game. Sorted everything out. Including the blob. Here we go. Good luck. Yeah! Yes! Now me! Yay! Wow, not bad. It's another good way of showing three. OK, agents. Now try writing my number with dots or lines or as a number. Try it out and call the number jacks. Jumping two squares at a time. Two. Good luck, two. Thank you. Try and jump on my number. Two. Four. Hmm. Six. Eight. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Jump back now. Perhaps he'll land on my number this time. Eight. Six. Four. Two. And back to the start. Did it. Eight, six, four, two. And where was three? Three is a very good number to jump on. Not when you're jumping in twos, it isn't. It goes two, four, six, eight. Your number's there, I notice. I can't help that. Two. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think you're trying hard enough. All I'm asking is that you jump, just jippy, jippy jump, onto lovely number three. Ooh, mm, feels lovely. You try it. He can't if he's jumping in twos. He can try. Go. Two. Four. Oh! Sorry. Six. 
Eight. Come on, time to get over it. Oh, OK then. Bye, two. Come on, you two. We've got an agent that needs help. Who, who, who? It's Agent 79 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's a boy in his hovercraft. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. That's cool. Yes, but look what happened. The number's gone. And look at these dice. There's one. And three. And five. But some of the numbers are missing. <gasps> Two, four and six? Very strange. OK, Agent 79, we're sending someone out. Thanks. Two, four and six missing? Shall I go then? Six is going out. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Number six. Checking all clear for launch. Don't mind us, Jasper. Apart from the cat, all clear. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! Looking for a six. It's hard, not many sixes round. But found one. <laughs> OK. Time to sort out these missing numbers. Sounds like more problems. Agent 54 here. There's a problem with a mobile phone. On screen. Six? Can you see what happened to her mobile phone? Checking now. Some of the numbers seem to be missing. Which ones? Two, four, six and eight. Sounds familiar. Why those numbers? Agent 57 here. They are the numbers you get if you count in twos. Two, then four, then six, then eight. At least three safe. But what's made them go missing? I think that's the number taker. What do we know about him? Putting it on screen. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, nicking, getting, nothing as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. I'm after him. Got a recording of how the numbers went missing. <sighs> Checking the car and dice. <sighs> He's up to his tricks. Let's hope Six finds him. I've spotted the number taker. What's he after now? Guess. House numbers. He's got two. What will be next? I've got a terrible feeling. 
I can't watch! What number will be next? Watch out, Six! We've got to find a way of stopping him! He's moving on! I should have guessed. Number eight. That's two, four, six, eight. I think I'm going to need help. I'll send for... Number eight. Yeah! If the number taker starts mucking about with two, four, six and eight, anything could happen. Maybe he'd stop people using two hands. Or he'd stop you being four years old. You'd have to go straight from being three to being five. Oh. And boxes wouldn't work because they've got six sides. And a spider couldn't use her eight legs. She could only use seven legs. That number taker has got to be stopped. Had a message. Eight is on his way. He started on people now. Look at this man. He can't use two legs. Poor man. He has to hop. I don't know why people find it so hard. But they do. And there's more problems. All these people struggling with buggies. Why? What is it about the buggies? Agent 17 here. Count the wheels. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great to see you, Eight. Great to be here. Now, where's this silly old number taker? Watch out, Eight. Watch out! OK, we need a plan. Any ideas? It's all to do with two, four, six and eight. If we keep counting two, four, six, eight, then things might get back to normal. I'll go and get two. I'll look after the screens. OK. Everybody, get ready for brain gain. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. Come on, two. Ready, everyone? Two, two four, four, six, six eight, eight, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, six eight, eight. Come on, eight. Let's do it. And let's do it the other way. Eight, six, four, two, did the trick. Oh, look out! Oh, no! Number taker, this way. He can't decide who to go for. Now he really can't decide. Two legs. Four legs. Or six. Or eight. Make your mind up. Serves you right, you meanie. Come back now, six, and bring eight with you. Let's go.
Great working with you, Six. And we've got it all on screen. The toy and dice had lost their numbers. That mean number taker taking two, four, six and eight. More numbers going. And people couldn't use two legs. I needed eight to help. Happy to be there. Two, four, six, eight. Brain game sorted things out. And the number taker couldn't choose between two, four, six and eight. And ended up very confused. Now then, all together. Two, four, six, eight. We're the We're numbers, numbers who are great. Well, that's not very nice for you. Don't worry, three. We're here too. Ready? One. And three. Five. Seven. And nine. We're the numbers who are fine. Hooray! Oh, who does zero join in with? Two, four, six and eight. Or one, three, five, seven and nine. You decide the best group for zero to join in and call the number jack. Nice and quiet in here, for once. Yes, it is quiet. Oop. That's better. Oh no. Bing. <laughs> Oop. Bing. Snuggle. <laughs> I'm not laughing at your silly noises. I bet you will if we do it again. Oop. Bing. Snuggle. I'm not laughing. You can join in for... Nah, not me. You know you want to. Ready, one and two? Goop. Bing. Snuggle. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Four, do a silly action too. Goop. Bing. Snuggle. Blast! <laughs> <laughs> this time, let's not stop. Let's keep going. Okay. Bing, snuggle, flood. Bing, snuggle, flood. Bing, snuggle, flood. Oh no! Just really getting going. Come on, we've got work to do. Slidey, slidey. <laughs> We've got an agent calling in. Who is it? Who is it? Agent 41 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. Look at this girl. On the screen. Wow. That's pretty strange. We'll definitely send someone out. Thanks. I'd like to help that girl. The number jacks are on their way. <laughs> We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? No 
number five. Checking it's all cliff launching. Oh, great! Doorbell! And now it's all clear. Looking for a five to land on. Looking for a five. And found one! Okay, wonder if there are any other problems. Sounds like there could be. Is Agent 60 here? Look at this lady's hat. This I've got to see. Wow! The hats are trying her on. What is going on? <gasps> is it like what happened to the girl? Is Agent 83 here? It is like the girl. The girl had three things happen to her. One after the offer. Agent Hudson 6 here. The three hats won the lady's head. One after the other. Yes! They're both stuck in a pattern. Three things are happening over and over again. And it's not just them. Oh no, he's stuck in a repeating pattern too. But why? Look. Oh no, that can only mean one thing. The problem blob. Yes, there he is. Information on the problem blob on screen now. If you spot a blob, of slime. Guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh -oh. Great big and blubbery. Blubbery. Great big trouble is the blubbery, snubbery. Blubbery. The girl and the two grown ups must have been slimed. But I'm sure it's something more than that. at the girl, the lady and the man. See if there's anything special about them. Putting the girl on screen. Look for anything unusual. There's the slime. That's a nice pattern on her T-shirt. Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Maybe that pattern is causing the trouble. What about the lady? The slime on her too. And zooming in... Looking for a pattern. Yes, look. Star, heart, shell. Star, heart, shell. Another pattern that goes round and round. And the man. Look, there's slime on him too. Has he got a pattern? On his bag. Look. Car. Plane. Train. Car. Plane. Train. Another three things in a pattern. Making the man do three things in a pattern. Really weird. If that problem blob keeps on making things happen in a pattern, anything could happen. A digger might have a pattern on its side, and the slime might make the digger go dig, chuck, flip. Yay. Or a dancer 
might have a pattern on her costume and she might get slimed and go trip, splat, bounce. Ooh. Ooh. Or a plane might be slimed and it would go dive, loop, climb. Dive, loop, climb. Think how sick the passengers would be. We've got to stop that problem, Blob. Watch out, Five! What are the Blobs going to do now? Look, his bag. The Blobs have changed the pattern to four things. Car, plane, train, boat. What's he going to do now? There's a pattern of four things on his bag. He'll move in four silly ways. Oh, my word. Jump, hop, wave, spin. Jump, hop, wave, spin. He's stuck in the pattern. And look, the lady's in trouble too. Star, heart, crown, shell. Looks like she'll have four different things on her head. Problem, Blob. Watch out, Five! Oh no! It's a pattern of five things. I don't like it. Oh no! Five's going to be in a pattern of five things. Short, tall, thin, fat, empty. Oh no! How can we help Five? Short, tall, thin, fat, empty. The blob has trapped her in a pattern. So we've got to break the pattern to set her free. That's it. Break the pattern. I'll get the brain game going. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Hurry up, please. Break the pattern. Break the pattern. Sending brain game now. <laughs> Better. Send more brain gain and I'll sort out the others. Break the pattern! Pattern broken! Now the man! That's broken the pattern. And the man's all right. We've not just broken the pattern. We've broken the blob who made the pattern. He'll be back next time. Come back now, Five. Here I come. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five. Done, five. That was weird. And we've got it all on screen. The girl had a pattern on her T-shirt. And she got stuck in a pattern. Thanks to the blob. And the lady had a pattern on her earrings. And the hats were on her head. And then her head was in four different places. And the man was moving in four different ways. 
And thanks to the blob, I was doing five different things. But we broke the pattern. And everything went back to normal. OK, we did a silly pattern up to four. Can we do five things in a row? I'll have a go. Come on, then. Bing. Snaggle. Flood. Wahey. Bing. Snaggle. Flood. Wahey. Can you find a pattern that keeps being repeated over and over again? Look and listen for patterns and call the number jacks. Now this isn't an easy one, but you might as well have a go. You jump onto the jump pad and then onto the paper to make a one. Yeah. Ah! Oh dear. Still, I said it wasn't easy. Oh, do you want to go? Well, why not? Your buddy block is going to have a go. Excellent. I knew it. My buddy blocks want to go now. All right then, get together. Go for it. Yeah. That looks good. Making big squares and little squares. Yes, we've got some very clever buddy blocks here. I think we've got some more buddy blocks that want to join in. Will they make a square too? Just watch them. That's it. And go. Yeah, another great square. One, four and nine. Numbers who make squares. With our body blocks. I've got to go. Might be off on a mission. Never mind one. Maybe I'll take you out somewhere later. Making squares. Agent 22's calling in. Things are going wrong. But not for long. On the screen. He looks all right. But look what happens. He's starting to dance. Wow! Is he going to risk it again? Oh, I wouldn't want to be dancing like that. Can you send someone? Definitely. Dear, dear. Four looks keen on dancing. I am not. Excellent. Four's going out. Then. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem. Do we stop? Who's going out there? Number four. <laughs> Checking the room's clear. All clear.
Finding a four. A four. Found a four. I'm here. Good, because there's more problems. Agent 41 here. Look at this. Oh, no! Everybody's dancing. They can't stop themselves. It's Agent 79 here. Look what the children are playing on. It's Agent 95 here. They're on squares, just like the boy on the mat. Are we sure they're squares? Looking at them carefully. Yes, it's a square. What about the other children? Squares again. Maybe it's the squares. The squares are making them dance. It's square dancing. OK, but you have to ask, why? Four. I mean, what sort of strange Four. thing would take a harmless shape like a square and... Four! What? Behind you! Ah, <laughs> the shape japer! Here's what we know about the shape japer. Looks like the shape japer's back. Shape, japer, she's really very strange. Shape, japer, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs, changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the Japer's game. The shape Japer's back. We're the shape Japer is using squares to make people dance, even if they don't want to. She's looking for more people to make them dance. She should be all right. She's nowhere near a square. Square! Dancing! <laughs> She's certainly dancing. How come the lady started dancing? She's got squares on her top. First it was people who were on squares. Now it's squares that are on people. Oh no! Anyone with squares on them might be made to dance when they don't want to. Four, check that man. He seems all right. Just got some diamond patterns on his tie. Square! Dancing! He won't be dancing. Oh no! it was diamonds, but these diamonds are squares that have been tipped over a bit. It looks like anything to do with squares could get people square dancing. If you had a diamond on your t-shirt, it could be a tipped over square, so you'd be square dancing. And if your bath was on square tiles, your bath might start square dancing and throw the water out. And if your house had squares on it, like square windows, your whole house might start square dancing and throw everything out. We've got to stop that shape, Japer. There she is. Oh, no! Square dancing! <laughs> oh, no! Hey, no! How come I'm dancing? Whoa! There are no squares on me. Why is four dancing? What's four got to do with squares? It's because four things can make a square. Like four's buddy blocks made a square. Yes, got it on screen. Four buddy blocks make a square. You're a square sort of number four. Which is fine, except when I'm made to do square dancing. <laughs> Taking one for a trip. Lucky she was. 
Nine, can you help four? I'll certainly try. The shape japers making square numbers do square dancing. Phew. Hmm. Hey, Nine, you two had better watch out. Your buddy blocks made squares too, remember? Got it on screen. Use brain game to make safe squares. One on nine can make safe squares. Sounds good to me. We're going to need some brain game. I can do it. We're going to make squares that everyone can be safe in. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. A way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. I'm thinking squares. 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 Safe squares. Safe squares. You can do it, one. Make a safe square. That's a safe square, so the boy can stop dancing. Square dancing! Square safe. Quick! We need a bigger safe square for the man and the woman. I'll do it. Sending brain gain. One, two, three, four little squares. Make one big square. Square dancing! Square safe. <laughs> Need a big safe square for all these kids. I can do it. Safe square, safe square, safe square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little squares. Make one big safe square. Square dancing! Square safe. We're all inside the safe squares. Reef one. Square dancing! Square dancing! The shape jape is not happy. Square dancing! Square dancing! Square dancing! Square dancing! Square dancing! Did it! Come back now, one, four and nine. Three famous square numbers. All clear for landing. One, two... Everyone, check it all out on screen. The boy on the square mat got dancing. And the children on the hopscotch squares. The lady had a square on her blouse. And the man had diamonds on his tie. And diamonds are squares. That shape japer, up to her tricks. She got me dancing. Oh no. And nine and one help four make safe squares. One small square for the boy. Four small squares make a big square. And nine squares make a big square for all the children. Goodbye for now, Shape Japer. Yeehaw! Now, can our buddy blocks make an even bigger square? I don't think so. And once join in. No, we're going to need some more buddy blocks to finish that bigger square. So, how many buddy blocks will we need all together to make a bigger square? Find out and call the number jacks. OK, 
Okay, three. Are you ready to play Thinky Jump? Yes, 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 please. Are you ready to think and jump? I am. Are you watching this for? Yes, yes, I've got you on screen. Oh, yes. Right. Different things will come up on the Thinky Jump machine. Lots of things. You've got to jump onto things that match what I say. OK. Car, cake, banana, chair. Jump on things you can eat. You can eat banana and cake. Yeah. Did you see it for? Yeah, I did. Very good. Can you play it back to us? Hang on. That shows the things you can eat. Well done, three. Let's do some more thinky jump. Oh, shame. Come on, we've got to go. Come on, you lot. Cool coming in. Agent 17 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. You're right. They seem to be back to normal. Let's check. On the screen. Anyway, it's this girl. She's wrapping a dog as a birthday present. The dog wasn't working just now. It's working now, all right. Yeah, she can wrap it up now. That dog's funny. I'll play it again. What's happening now? Everything seems fine, Agent 17. Sorry if I wasted your time. It's never a waste of time calling the number, Jax. Thanks. That wasn't a very big problem. Well, if it was just a small problem, perhaps you should send out a small number, Jack. Like me! Well... OK. Yes! Me, me, me! Stand by for launching. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number three. Checking it's all clear for launching. Just a fish in their bowl. They never remember anything. Looking for a three. We are needing a three. Needing a three. I got that three. Oh, yes. I have arrived. I'm off to the girls' house. Just to check. You video we miss for later for? Of course. And here we see brave little number Jack three out where it's mean and nasty. Things don't look very mean and nasty. Agent 54 here. Things are going wrong at a birthday party. I'm on my way. <laughs> Looks like a good party to me. But look what's gone wrong with the present. That's the girl we saw before. It's not working. It's just sitting there. Looks like more problems. It's Agent 60 here is the man at the cafe. On screen. First the 
dog, and now the man. What's going on? Adrian 106 here. The dog and the man are linked. The man is barking and jumping. <coughs> the dog is doing what the man was doing. Three. Yes? Can you see anything that might be making things go wrong? No, I can't. Three. Yes, I'm saying... Behind you! Putting the spooky spoon data on screen. Uh oh. One, two, three. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. Because she thinks she is spooky spoon. I don't like you, spooky spoon. Oh, I don't like you either. <laughs> You're much too big. <laughs> You've been mixing things up again. Might have been. And I might mix some more. <laughs> oh, no! Why is he starting to do that? I don't know. children were tearing the paper. So Spooky Spoons made the man tear paper. What else do children at the party do? <laughs> oh dear, I can guess what's going to happen. going to get into trouble. Have you seen the bin? She's even made the bin loud and lively like the party things. If Spooky Spoon keeps on making quiet things behave like party things, anything could happen. <laughs> Your pencils might start playing musical chairs. And when the music stops, they might get broken. Or your knife and fork might start playing past the parcel. Only they'd be playing past the bread. All the things in your bathroom might get into party mood. And what a mess they'd make. Someone's got to stop Spooky Spoon. The man's looking terrible. And the party's pretty bad too. What's happened to all the noise? That party's not exactly rocking. It's Spooky Spoon again. Now she's made things at the party, like the cafe. Quiet and not moving. Having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You've made everything at the party quiet and not moving. Maybe they were always like that. They weren't. Oh, but you can't prove it. <laughs> and if you ever did show me definitely what things were like before, oh, then I'll go away and leave you alone. All right. How can we prove what things were like before? Quick. Any ideas? Four, you've had it all on screen. So play it back to show what things are really like. Oh, yes. We'll send the pictures by Brain Game. Brain Game, Brain Game, to solve the problem, use our brains. Put a way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, Brain Game! OK, here's what the man was really like before Spooky Spoon messed him up. The man is quiet and not moving. What about the bin? 
We've got the evidence. Things that are quiet are not moving. Brain game building. Sending brain game now. Here you are. Things that are quiet and not moving. As the man. Quiet and not moving. Now let's sort the party. Can do. Things that are noisy and lively. It's all on screen. Oh! Sending brain game. Oh no! Oh, then I'll go away. Oh, then I'll go away. Oh, then I'll go away. Come back now, three. Here I come. All clear for landing. One, two. We had it all on screen. And we've got it all on screen now. The dog was quiet and not moving. And the man was noisy and lively. Spooky Spoon had changed what things were like. But we had it all on screen, what things should be like. The man and the bin were quiet and not moving. And the party things were noisy and lively. And we could show that Spooky Spoon had promised to go away. Normal. Having it all on screen was really useful for... Thanks. How about your screen? Could you draw a picture of things that are lively and noisy? Or a picture of things that are quiet and not moving? Make your pictures and call the Number Jacks.